Hey, what's up everybody? It's been a little while, so I just want to uh, work on a little exercise from the Web Developer Bootcamp. I was in the Q&A and I noticed students were having difficulty with this particular exercise. And then I went and looked at it and it was a little bit confusing. In fact, I did identify um, some small bugs in the code. So we're going to go back through it together, talk about kind of what's confusing and what could be improved, and then we'll improve the code and uh, hopefully it'll run a little bit better. So first let's just talk about what this exercise is. And it's a uh, kind of like a guessing game. You enter a maximum number and then the game generates a number between like one and the maximum number. And you have to then guess what that number is. And if it's too high, it'll tell you it's too high. If it's too low, it'll tell you it's too low. And then if you guess the correct number, it'll tell you that it is the correct number. So let's go ahead and get into it. If we refresh, you can see enter a maximum number. Let's just do uh, 10. So we're not here all day trying to guess what it is. And first guess, let's start with uh, three. That's crazy, I, <laughs> I guessed it. Okay, so uh, let's do that one more time and see if we can get the other functionality. So maximum number guess, let's try three again. Okay, this time it was too low. Uh, so we'll do seven. And it's still too low, so we'll do nine. And the, the answer was nine. It says you got it, it took you three guesses. Awesome. Okay, so that seems like it works, right? So here's where the bug comes into play. If you refresh, you do the maximum number. And technically, the, 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 there's nowhere in the instructions that tells you this, but if you wrote the program, then you'll know that you can press Q, which stands for quit, and that will allow you to exit the game. So technically, you can press cancel, right? And that doesn't work, right? You think, okay, that's gonna work. It just keeps telling you too low. So already you can see something weird is going on here. So if you enter the, the value Q and you press OK, then it identifies that you're trying to quit and it lets you out of the loop. The, the bug is that if you enter your maximum number and on your very first guess, you enter Q, then it's weird. It says it's too low. And you're like, what? It just, like, how is that possible? So then if you enter Q again, it says OK, and it works. So if we go down to the source code here and we look, uh, it's asking for the maximum number, right? It's prompting you for it. When we do a prompt, we're, we're getting a string. That's what it returns. And so we're gonna parse that and get an integer from that. And so if it's anything other than a number, it's gonna give you not a number, which is actually falsy. So then you can put it in this while loop. It's basically saying like, while maximum is not true. In other words, while maximum is not a valid number, maximum is assigned to the result of parsing the integer from the prompt asking you to enter a valid number. So ultimately you will get a valid number for the maximum. Then it creates what the target number, that's the number that we're trying to guess using this fancy little math.floor of math.random times the maximum number plus one. And what that does is it just gives you a, a random whole number uh, between one and the maximum number. And so, or between zero and the maximum number, whatever it is. Okay, so then we're assigning the variable guess equal to the result of parsing whatever we get back from the prompt asking for your first guess. So here, initially, we are, we are parsing integer, so we're converting the, the result of the prompt to an integer. And then we start out with the very first attempt that you're on. Now, in the while loop, every time the loop runs, when it's comparing to see if it needs to end or break, it will take the guess variable, right? We created it right here, and it'll parse that integer, and then it'll compare it to the target num. So the target num is an integer, and it'll try and parse what you have, and it says if it's not equal to it, then go ahead and keep looping uh, indefinitely until we do get a guess that is a number and um, the number is equal to target num. So the very first thing it does is it says, inside the while loop, it says if the variable guess is equal to Q. But if you remember, on our very first time running the program, guess is equal to parse int of whatever prompt returns. And we know that parse int will either return a number or not a number, N-A-N, which is falsy. Okay, so in this case, if guess is actually Q, if that's what you entered whenever you entered your first guess, 
then it's not going to be Q, it's going to be because of the parse in, it's going to be in a n, not a number. And so it'll be if not a number is equal to Q, break. Well, it's going to skip this because that's false. Not a number is not equal to Q, the string. It'll increment your attempts, and then it'll go here, and it'll say if the guess, which in this case is not a number, is greater than target num, and then it'll reassign guess to the prompt, whatever returns from the prompt, telling you that it's too high, enter a new guess. Well, here, not a number is not greater than target num. But instead of saying if guess is less than, we just say else, assume, and we never want to assume in programming, but in this case we are, assume that it's less than target num and therefore prompt telling the person that it's too low. Well, in this case, not number is not less than target num. And so that's not being handled in this program, which is fine. This is like a super rudimentary program, but it is a little bit confusing because if, as we can see here in a second, we enter the maximum number. And if on our very first guess, we decide to quit by entering Q, it actually misinterprets it, goes to that else statement. And in the else statement, it says it's too low, enter a new guess. Now at this point, it's not parsing integer on the guess variable. So if you assign guess to the result of this and you click OK, then it actually breaks. OK, you quit. That's what happens down here when guess is equal to Q. So this guess is equal to Q is break. It breaks out of the while loop. And then if guess is equal to Q again, you say, OK, you quit. Otherwise, we just assume that the break, that the while loop ended because the guess was equal to the target num and therefore we just say you won and we log out how many attempts it took. I'm gonna silence my phone real quick, sorry. Okay, getting back to it. So the, the, we've, we've kind of addressed the issues with this program and now what we wanna do is fix them. So let's think about this. First and foremost, if the user wants to break the program on the very first attempt, right? Maximum number, Q. If they want this to work and actually quit, then we have to fix that because currently it's not working the way we expect it to. And the reason is because guess is equal to parse int and then the result of the prompt. So if we didn't do the parse int, then the while loop is still going to check if guess is a number by running parse int on it. So that's good. Now guess, instead of here being set equal to not a number when you enter something that's not an integer, it's going to be whatever that value was. So in this case, if you enter Q here, it's still gonna go into the while loop as Q, but then the parse int is still gonna compare it and see if it's the target number. So just by doing that, just by removing the parse int out of the initial assignment of the guess variable. Let's go ahead and, uh, what is this? Change the file, we're not saved to the file system. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, let's just see if it's still saved here. Refresh, five, Q, okay, so uh, it's telling me that, yeah, let's go ahead and quit. Um, I can't edit the file here directly because it's in the file system, so let's go ahead and jump over to VS Code real quick. We'll scroll down here and make our changes here. So again, line 33, we're just getting rid of that parse int. And now if we refresh and we enter our maximum number and then here we quit, go to the console, boom, it lets us quit initially, okay? So that was the first little problem is that we were parsing the initial prompt and we didn't need to because the parsing for the integer always happens inside of this while loop conditional, right? And this isn't reassigning the guess variable. It's simply performing the parse int on the guess variable and then it's doing a comparison against target num. But it's not storing it in memory. It's not reassigning the guess variable. Okay, so then the next thing is that we don't want to make the assumption that just because guess uh, is not greater than target num, that it's less than target num. So you have your if statement here, if guess is greater, and then here you can see an else if, and we can copy this from above, and we can say, okay, first check if guess is greater than target num. If it is, then we 
or sorry, if it's, uh, yeah, if it is greater, then we say it's too high. Then check if it's lower. And if it is lower, right? So if this is false, then we get to here. If it is lower, then t tell the person that it's too low. You could leave it like that. Um, or if there's some other situation where it's not higher and it's not lower, right? Like where we had not a number, which now we've mitigated that, so it's not going to happen. But let's just say that that was still there. You could do an else statement and you could say, guess is equal to prompt. Uh, what would we say in that, in that situation? Um, you could like print it out if you want to. Guess is, in this case, we'd have to use a template literal. So we could say, oh, that's so annoying. So guess is guess, which is not higher or lower. Please guess a number value or something like that. So in this case, there's a chance. Let's just let's just see what happens. So uh, this of course isn't none of this is gonna work until I go do it in the, the actual code. So let's go here, update this, and save it, go back, refresh. Okay. So maximum number is five. If you want to quit on the first guess, you can. That's good. So maximum number is five. If you do one, it should be too low. Uh, we don't know what the number is. We can do five, too high. Two, too low. Four, too high. Three, go to the console. It tells you you got it. Take you five guesses. Okay, so so far we've just been staying within either the if or the else if. We've never made it to the else. And I don't know that we would ever make it to the else. Um, Oh, actually we could, I think I know a way that we can. So you enter the maximum number, let's say it's five. Now in your first guess, let's just say you put in some random text, right? This isn't gonna convert to a number. It's also not Q. So in this case, we say, okay, and now it says your guess is SD blah, 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 which is not higher or lower. Please guess a number value. Uh, or you could say it's not a valid number or whatever. So in this case, you guess again. If you guess again with more crazy text, it just updates the same thing. Now, if you guess a number, too high, too low, Guess number two, took five guesses. Okay, so um, the only thing here, I guess technically, yeah, it's incrementing the attempts even when you're entering something that is not a valid number, which is totally fine. Um, but now we have a more concrete program that uh, isn't gonna be breaking or not performing the way that we expect it to, right? If we enter Q on the first guess, it'll quit right away. And if we enter something that's not a number, it'll let us know. Um, so hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Again, this is an exercise from the Web Developer Bootcamp, um, which was just a little bit confusing. So I thought I would go over it and provide a slightly um, simpler solution, or not simpler, but a solution with a little bit more coverage uh, with less assumptions and kind of mitigate some of those small bugs that were in there. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and we'll catch you all in the next video.